bestie. Let's go on an adventure. Hey everyone, come on this one and a half hour road trip with us to Choya Campground. We finally got to our campsite at around 6.30, so we had to hurry and get our tent up before it was completely dark. The first thing I did was blow up the air mattress since I didn't want to do it later in the night when everyone was already sleeping. I used this battery I got on Amazon to blow up the air mattress, which has been very handy and lasts us about 48 hours. We really only use it to charge our phones, blow up the air mattress, and use the two different flashlight modes. After everything in the tent was set up, we finally got the fire starting and just listened to it. This was actually pretty funny because we ended up just sitting there staring at each other in silence. Then we started cooking the hot dogs and I don't know about you guys, but hot dogs always taste better to me when I'm camping. It was time for bed and I thought that I came prepared, but I feel like we should have brought our little space heater since I could have plugged it into the battery, but there's always next time. Um, first night, it's kind of cool, it's actually freezing, um, but it's okay, you live, you learn, okay, good night. As you can see, it was not a good night. It was time for everyone's morning potty break, which was about a two minute walk from our campsite. This is the women's bathroom. Nobody was in here, but I just wanted to show how clean they kept it. So, 10 out of 10. For breakfast, I packed eggs, breakfast sausages, and orange juice, and we ended up using our Coleman grill with butane. And before anyone makes a comment about this, I know that there are pots and pans specifically for camping, but... This works just fine for us, so if I don't have to spend anything, I won't. I love taking my dog camping and I ended up buying this leash extender. It's not really an extender, but I made it an extender at PetSmart and I just connected it to her normal leash and that way she could run up to, I think it was 10 or 15 feet, just so that she had a little bit more freedom to play and run around.
we honestly sat here for like two hours and it was so peaceful. I just, I didn't want to get up. We eventually got up and decided to drive around and explore. This is the Roosevelt Lake Bridge. There's an area off to the side where you can pull off and read a little bit about the Arizona Trail, which is a national scenic trail from Mexico to Utah. Okay, so we decided to go back home because it was just too cold last night. We're gonna call it quits, unfortunately, and we'll just come back when it's warmer. Yep. It's <laughs> After about one to two hours of driving around, we decided to come back to the campsite and start packing everything up so that we could go home. My parents gave us this tent, which is the core 10 person instant cabin tent. Why they or we would need a 10 person tent, I don't know. But I will say that it's really nice to have so that Xena can walk around a little bit whenever she wants. And it is super easy to put up and even easier to take down. And I know some of you are going to be like, that's not real camping. And that's okay. But you know, I'm six feet tall, my husband's 5'11", and we got a big ass dog. So we need the space. Also, I know it seems like we're taking forever to put the tent away, but there's a specific way that you have to fold it to get it back in the bag. And we just kind of had a brain fart for a second, but we got it. Trying to put everything back into this car was so frustrating, but hopefully we end up with a bigger vehicle this year so that we have more room for our camping stuff, but also more room for Xena. Well, we're headed home and like I said, we'll definitely be back once it's warmer and we'll stay the whole weekend this time, but Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time!